Wow, it's just you and me today, buddy. <laughs> Episode 31. I think we have a lot more than 31, but we since we've been keeping track, Terry, we got episode 31 today, and this is our recap. You didn't tell me my collar wasn't pulled down either, but uh, this, is not recap, pulled down. Uh, this is our recap of Leaving California, Southern Freedom Tour. What a whirlwind it was. Uh, I thought I'm still be recovering. Of, I don't yeah. mind telling you. <laughs> I think... Yeah, I yeah. thought it'd be fun to just go through city by city and just give a highlight. There's so many memories, and and I said this before. This is a lifetime memory, obviously, of the the trip that we had, and it just was. It was really fun. It was really hard. So don't anyone out there listening think that 14 hours a day uh, is easy. But it was well worth it, and we're super excited about the footage and the attention that we're getting. So how you doing, buddy? What's going on? Well, I'm excited to see the videos that we make, but I'm also excited when we help educate our members about the benefits of moving to some of these towns. I was blown away. I, I'm born and raised in the South, lived in California 35 years, but I saw places that I hadn't seen. Well, some of them I'd never seen, but uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, been there in 1969, and now it's uh, 2024. <laughs> so yeah. a lot happened in uh, 55 years. <laughs> wow. Right? Yeah. yeah 55 years i was 10. I was, was, they were landing <laughs> on the moon last time i was in myrtle beach landing on the moon for the first time people are going to be able to know your age now 65 this oh. month may 2024 may 31st i'm 51 i think so oh, oh wait, no stop I'm it 61. Stop it. sorry no i had i was off by 10. But, oh yeah uh, yeah but uh yeah so we we stay active and uh and, and boy let me tell you this group really does keep us active so um i thought it would be kind of fun to go back to my slideshow and we're just gonna kind of walk everybody through each town and we're gonna keep this short and sweet and we're gonna tease you guys a little bit with some of the uh we had a, a videographer cinematographer actually a cinematographer that's gonna put all this together and i think everybody in our groups are gonna be really super super impressed so let's get this party started and let's go on our memory of the leaving california tour we don't really need that but let's do no, this how about if we go over here this way and we do At least you're prepared i'm ready to go bud i've been waiting to i've been waiting to do this for a while so let's start let's even start with slide one so here we are in johnson city uh this was our day off Johnson um, City, Tennessee. You got to say the state because Johnson we won't know. City, Tennessee. We were, we were there. Um, and by the way, Terry, I, I I don't mind saying this publicly, buddy. I I was uh, a little bit on the heavy side, so I I've actually got really motivated, and I've lost ten pounds since uh, since since we did this thing. And I'm on my way. I'm going to lose more than ten. So Good for you. I'm excited about that. And then uh, so here we go. This was the drive and Mr. Gilliam, uh, as I mentioned before, drove. What's the full mileage count? It was over 2,600. It was less than 2,700, but, but 2,600 miles. 2,600 miles. And did any of us get to drive the car at all while we did this? Not a, not a foot other than me. <laughs> Terry was the only one that drove. And uh, he, drove, he started all the way down here in Orlando and you ended up, we ended up in Franklin and then he had to backtrack and go back to Cookville. But um, anyway, let, let's just talk about the, uh, the trip. So um, I didn't get to drive with, with you from Orlando, but we met in the Atlanta area and we went to Sonoy. That was one of our favorites. Let's talk a little bit about Sonoy, Georgia. what do you think of that town? Well, first, uh, there's no I at the end of Sonoy. Yes. So, so uh, just, to, just so people know what to look for. Uh, so, and by the by the way, remember the old folks, uh, old old uh, town members call it Sonoy, not Sonoya, but uh, it's really Sonoya. I, I was I was amazed at, at Sonoya, Georgia. Uh, you know, we're going to say this every once in a while, but Mayberry RFD, yeah, beautiful little downtown. It's uh, built by a public private partnership with with some conservative folks from Hollywood who've come down. Uh, the Walking Dead series. In fact, I actually went on my cable subscription yesterday and I've recorded some Walking Dead videos that I'm going to watch because I've never seen it before. But 11 seasons, apparently people come from all over the world to Sonoya, Georgia to see all of the houses there where the mayor lived and this person lived, et cetera, in Sonoya. 
Um, but a, a wonderful little town. Fried Green Tomatoes was filmed in this town. So a beautiful little southern town that's kind of been discovered. You, you, you definitely, uh, it's not certainly Franklin prices, but uh, you're, you're up there a little bit in the prices. But the nice thing is you're only about 45 minutes, I think, from the Atlanta airport, which means you can get anywhere in the world uh, from Sonoya. That's a, and it's a, just a beautiful place. And Andrew, was it Andrew Love or Andrew Lowe? Andrew Lowe, yeah. Andrew Lowe, uh, he was one of our best hosts. I mean, every host was was They're amazing, all great. Yeah, but Andrew great. was just phenomenal. And the hospitality, he took us out to this amazing lunch we had, and we got to tour the town, walk the streets. We got drone footage. We got to meet the, uh, the former mayor, I believe. Yep, former mayor and who's the now the city mayor. manager. I mean, just just an amazing little town. If you're looking to, for a nice little peaceful area that offers a lot and 45 minutes away from everything you could ever imagine, uh, Sonoya was was a really, really nice. And it was a great city to start. Um, he had a full packed day and then we had a four hour drive to get to Charleston. I don't think we ended up leaving until about seven o'clock, 6.30. It was a full packed day and uh, I give that one a, a, a very good check mark. And then, so we end up in Charleston, South Carolina, which I had never been there before. And that's another coastal town. That's a coastal town and so much history. Talk a little more about Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, Corinne is our realtor there. She's a, a wonderful um, former Californian who traveled the country for a long time. I think it was one or two years, traveled the country to try and figure out where to end up. In a motorhome, yeah. In a motor, yeah. Traveled the country in a motorhome with her family, her two young children, Corinne Kane, and she loved it so much. She moved to Somerville, uh, near right next to Charleston. Loved it so much, became a realtor. Now works with a lot of California transplants who want to move to the Charleston, Somerville area. And again, a, a very historic town. Uh, the Civil War started in Charleston. Um, you had you have uh, many buildings there houses and buildings that were built in the i think the 17 well 1700s for sure yeah um but a, a wonderful port city i think it was the largest if, if not didn't she say it was like the largest port in i think she did yeah i do remember that and yeah. uh by the way everyone for you guys that are listening we had a photographer his name was john he was amazing and we had over 500 photos I had thought about putting the photos together for this, but it would just take too long. So we're going to make you guys wait for the actual video footage and we'll be spicing in a lot of uh, photos uh, in the next several months from some of our highlights. But she was Corinne Kane. She was an amazing host. I mean, just the sweetest person took us out to an amazing lunch right there on the waterfront. Beautiful city. The weather was perfect. I mean, I, I, I can't say one bad thing about Charleston, South Carolina. It was it was amazing. I agree. I agree. Beautiful. So then we get in the car um, and Terry probably remembers because he's the driver. How far did was it from Myrtle Beach to or to from Charleston to Myrtle Beach? It was about uh, two hours. Not OK, bad. not bad, but it was late at night. We didn't get there till like, uh, I think, 10 o'clock or something like that. We got to Myrtle Beach. So that was. Uh, yeah. And then. Uh, it only took the hotel. It was a. It was actually a nice little hotel. Not little, but it was a hotel. I don't know what the deal is. I, I did it on Expedia, but it took like half an hour for them to. Uh, they were on their computers typing away, typing away. I mean, it's like for half an hour. I'm like, I just want to check in. Can you use my credit card and let me in? But uh, anyway, nice, nice, nice little hotel on the beach, and uh, we got to see it in the dark. Oh, really? You remember the moon was coming up, the full moon. It was a full was moon up. on the ocean. It was amazing. And yeah, maybe it was beautiful. It was, maybe it was their first day, Terry. Maybe they had just started and they hadn't had their finished their training yet. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it takes half an hour to check. In. So uh, and, and the uh, parking lot was full that we had that we got free parking, but it was full. So we had to go to the paid parking, which was also a nice inconvenience. So but uh, but anyway, Zach Peak did an amazing job of rounding up uh, what the visitor bureau, leader of the visitors bureau for yeah. Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Uh, and then we got to do our video at the Dunes, which just, if any, for any golf fans, just hosted the PGA tournament last weekend in Myrtle Beach. So that was at the Dunes. Unbelievable. We got to, so yeah, we got to beautiful. visit with the, the president of the, of the Dunes uh, uh, and, um, and do a video with him. And uh, Zach just did an amazing job. And they've got the, Grand Strand, right? 60 miles of beaches that we we mostly toured. 
Yeah, we we hit a lot of that. We got to go. That was where we went on the pirate ship. That's right, hard. Yep, yeah, yeah. And uh, man, I, just an amazing lunch again. Being on the pirate ship, being in the water. I love the ocean. And so we get to Myrtle Beach, and I said, Terry, I think this is going to be my favorite. That this is yeah. going to be my favorite. And I still, I loved everything about Myrtle Beach. Matter of fact, me and my daughter are talking about going back there and uh in sometime during the summer but again uh highly recommended and and i don't believe that the price points were they were pretty reasonable in myrtle beach and they, they really were you can yeah. be inland from the beach not very close to the ocean and be inland and i think the price the housing prices are, are pretty affordable yeah i i highly recommend it. it it is kind of i mean i'm a las vegas guy as all you guys know but i mean it had a little bit of a las vegas feel but man with that beautiful ocean it blows las vegas away uh just from because i love the ocean so much and i think that the affordability is, is a little better so here we are we're in myrtle beach and now we're going to be driving to columbia how far are, what was that um that wasn't bad either i think that was about two and a half hours okay so we get into columbia south carolina probably got there around 10 or 11 o'clock we had our little routine uh we have four guys in our crew including terry Terry goes in, he checks in, he gets the keys. We got everything unloaded and, and my goodness, we had a lot of equipment. So we had, you know, the little roller things, we had to fill two of them up and we get everything ready and we're standing outside waiting for the keys and everybody's just like, okay, we're ready to go to bed. There was no after parties for any of us. Uh, by the time we got there, there were a few times where we hadn't eaten dinner yet. So we were eating late dinners around 9.30 or 10, but by the end of the day, I was wiped out. I don't know, maybe you were ready to go, but I wasn't. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, uh, all 65-year-olds after uh, being up at 6 a.m. And, uh, and touring and then driving for hours. Yeah, all 65-year-olds are ready to go out and have a great time. I know, I know. So let's talk about Columbia, South oh. Carolina. Yeah, Brandon uh, Hoffman. Wow, what? I, I had never been to Columbia before, the capital city of of uh, South Carolina and also the, has the other USC, University of South Carolina. What a beautiful town, beautiful downtown, beautiful area, lots of things to do, lots of people, lots of California transplants that Brandon's worked with there. He owns an amazing Keller Williams brokerage there. Uh, I loved it. And then how about that reservoir or that, that whatever, we call it reservoirs in California. How about that lake, 500 oh miles of shoreline on that lake that he took us to. Say it again, how many miles? 500 miles of shoreline. That's a, that's a lot. Oh my gosh, it was, and it was beautiful. So, I, so just, it just blew me away. Uh, I, I loved it, uh, and especially downtown. Remember walking downtown there where we saw that uh, gong that we were banging and yes, stuff Yes, like I that? remember that. That was awesome. And yeah, then doing was... the uh, interviews all over the city. Yeah, I mean, yep. you guys, uh, you'll have a lot of, uh, a lot of good, th cool things to see when we get our videos done from Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, and we ate at that down home barbecue shop too. Remember that the lunch we had that with those that, that like eighty five year old uh, lady taking our money oh, there. Or, and, yes. Uh, and guess who oof. went up there? Guess who went up there and uh, got seconds? Oh yeah, well that would be you. Big and boy. that's why I needed to lose. I got to lose twenty pounds. I'm halfway there. But uh, speaking of. Um, Oh, you, you just brought back another memory from Georgia. I forgot to mention something. Oh, yeah. I think, wasn't it in Sonoya that Terry Gilliam got David Berry to go to Bonefish for the very first time? And no, that, that was Charleston. Bang. That was oh. Charleston. Oh, my gosh. The Bang Bang Shrimp. That was bang, the best shrimp I, yep. I ever had in my life. So uh, all these memories are coming back. Guys, you got to understand, we were together for... We basically slept about four or five hours a night and we were together 16 hours a day. So there's a ton of memories. So if something pops back in my head, I might have to share. So here we are. Um, and by the way, Brandon, what an amazing host. What a great guy. I highly recommend him. He is, he's phenomenal. You yes. can't go wrong with him. And was he the one that had his attorney did a, an interview? Yes, yes. The uh, Because in South Carolina, you use uh, attorneys for closing. Yeah, I mean, yep. What a guy. So now we're, 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 we're done with Columbia and we're like, okay, we're going to go to Greenville. And I got to be honest, I wasn't very excited about Greenville. So Terry, maybe you can explain what happened to me when I got to Greenville and we were out there in the courtyard. And uh, so now we're in Greenville, South Carolina, and you'd been there before, but I had never been. 
Yeah, we got there. We got there not too late. We got there like at seven or eight o'clock. I know. I think seven o'clock or something. Seven. And, right uh, so it was still light, light which was yep. nice. It was nice to get there at uh, during during the daytime. Uh, we were right downtown, right on the river. There's a beautiful river that runs right through the middle of town, and uh, with a, with a waterfall and things like that. It's a it's a beautiful downtown area. Very walkable, very enjoyable. And if you remember, it was Thursday night. They had live music playing outdoors. You remember hearing that as you're walking by the river? And oh seeing- yeah, lots of uh, blues. It was like the blues capital of the world or something. They have all kinds of cool bars. Now that's and- Memphis. Uh, Bluegrass, I think, is Greenville. Bluegrass. Okay. Blues, the blues capital is Memphis, so. Okay. Uh, I think Bluegrass capital might be Greenville, but, but I. They have yeah. I heard the music and it, it, it was phenomenal. And then I actually said it, and I think I rescinded, but I said I think. Terry, this is going to be my favorite place. It was spectacular. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. It, it was really, really, really pretty. And then we had Shay Faulkner. What an another, another amazing host. She came, she met us, she walked around the town. We got a lot of pictures. She had an amazing event. We did interviews oh my with gosh, all we had. Her. She had a ton of former Californians yeah. in our meeting, uh, in our reception. Yeah. Uh, lots of interviews with former Californians who could not be happier living in the Greenville area, up, up, upstate. They call it upstate. So if you're if you're anywhere around Greenville, they call it upstate. And what was our new saying? They every one of them said that they wish they had left sooner. They wish they had left sooner. So another great host. Um, I guess it's probably it's got to be number two or three, but it's in it's up there in the top. I highly recommend Greenville if you've never been there before. You got to check it. I was check it out. I wasn't very excited about it, but after I left, I couldn't stop talking about it. So now we're in Greenville and we're heading over to Charlotte, North Carolina, which we kind of put together last minute. And we met this wonderful person named Yvonne, who actually is a part of our group. And we were reaching out to different realtors. And Terry said, you know what? Why don't I just put a post in, in our group and see who pops up? And she was a, one of our realtors anyway. She lived on the outskirts. Tell them about the Charlotte story. That was very interesting. Well, Yvonne Howder, uh, our realtor up there, she lives in the Lake Norman area, which is just north of Charlotte, but she knows the entire metro area. Again, the great thing about Charlotte is at that airport, you can just about go anywhere in the world from the Charlotte airport because Charlotte is the, the banking capital of the U.S. if you're not in Manhattan, I guess. But uh, Bank of America is based there. Several other banks are based there. And uh, she showed us around. I had not, I've driven through Charlotte a couple of times in my life, but never toured it. And wow, what an amazing town. Lots of history there also. Um, uh, beautiful homes. She really showed us a lot. And uh, and then she toured us on Lake Norman and we had restaurant, I had to lunch, or lunch right next to Lake Norman. And Lake Norman, again, another lake with hundreds of miles of shoreline and uh, boy it, it just such a great area well the crazy part of the story is that we i think we ended up talking to her the day before we arrived and this woman was actually in the middle of doing an open house for one of her listings and she basically dropped everything that she had on her calendar for the afternoon on a weekend and i mean what, what just an amazing host and she brought her son along and we got to go, what was the name of that that boat that we took a picture of? Uh, this doesn't suck. Yeah, this doesn't suck. That's right. And I gotta be honest, it, it really didn't. The lakes and the water and the marina. Oh, and then she took us to lunch right there in the marina. I mean, she was a great host. She really showed us around, gave us a better understanding of Charlotte. And Charlotte, I wasn't sure cause I had never been there, but Charlotte was amazing. Really, really nice town. I agree, I agree. Let's so face then, it, we weren't disappointed anywhere we went. No, they were great. And so now here we're going. Now Terry's like, we're going to Morristown, Tennessee. I'm, I, I, Morristown? I never heard of Morristown. And uh, so again, I wasn't very excited about it. I was like, okay, well, if it's on the tour. We're going to go. And this was the sleeper of the trip. Talk about Morristown. This place is amazing. Well, Lynette Liberta Wright, our realtor up there, uh, has been helping some Californians in the group move to Morristown. So I said, well, we should go check it out. Uh, so we uh, uh, went to, uh, well, first remember we stopped in Asheville on the yeah. way. And yeah, that, Asheville, that was really cool. Yeah, Asheville is definitely a left-leaning town, but boy, was it hopping. We were there on a Saturday night. Yes, it was yes. a Saturday night. 
uh, <coughs> managed to find a parking spot right downtown, which was unusual. Uh, you could tell that it's a left-leaning town because let's just I'll just leave it there. You okay. could tell. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, but 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 in, you know, nice town, nothing against it, in a beautiful you know, and the weather was incredible. So, uh, and then from there we went up to drove up to Morristown. Uh, Morristown uh, is a place that I I think is a sleeper. I think it's a place that people just don't know about because they don't know about it. Uh, you're 45 minutes from Knoxville in Morristown, which means if you're retired or you need special health care or anything like that, you've got some of the best health care in the East Coast in Knoxville, which is a university town. They've got um, great health care in Knoxville. Um, but you're far enough away to where, uh, you know, how about that housing price? We saw brand new construction. Uh, I think that, don't quote me on it, but it was like a 1600 square foot house, three bedroom, two bath with an oversized garage, 600 square foot garage, which is every man wants an oversized garage. Right. Because you've got too much stuff to put in the typical garage. And that builder knows that, so he builds oversized garages. Um, <clears throat> and that house on a half acre was 375, brand new, brand new house. It was uh, And that's in the Morristown area. It's not in Morristown proper. But it, uh, John, the, the photographer and I were driving around and we were using the Realtor app and we looked at a house and I said, well, that's a, that house, it's got, it had a beautiful view. It was on, on a hilltop, nice, you know, semi mountain top, maybe a foothill type overlooking this beautiful valley. And I looked it up, it was a 7,000 square foot home. It had a three car, separate three car garage with carriage doors. You know, this was a very high end home. And I said, oh, that's a million and a half. And we looked up and it was like eight, 880, $880,000. I'm 7,000 square foot house. Are you kidding me with that view? So I, and again, Morristown also, I think it was called Cherokee Lake. Uh, we saw that beautiful five bed, three bath, 2,500 square foot home, two year old house for sale, which was really a seven bedroom because they did have closets, <clears throat> but in, you can't count it as a bedroom because it didn't have a window because it was in the basement. Um, so five bed, three bath, 2,500 square feet, three stories, um, 700 on the lake, $750,000, $750,000. I mean, I just, you know, there's plenty of million dollar houses on the lake there and Cherokee Lake and Morristown. But anyway, and for those looking to work, lots of jobs in that area. You've got uh, chicken manufacturer. I think you've got aerospace there. You've got several. Uh, in fact, they didn't really experience experienced the recession of the 08, 09, 2010 that the rest of us did because they have so such a diverse manufacturing sector there. And how about that downtown? The only elevated sidewalk, the entire yeah. downtown has a has a second story sidewalk all the way down. The only one in the country is what they they say, at least when they built it, it was the only one. We've got then they we went into the this uh, ceramic store and they helped us make leaving California coffee mugs. Which, hey, keep talking. I'll go get mine. Uh, which was so cool. <laughs> so we got to go in and, and they were like, yeah, we'll make you guys a couple of coffee mugs for your trip. And uh, that was kind of like a momentum, mo memento of our trip. So um, what a sleeper town. It, it just, it was amazing. I could not believe the price of real estate there. And um, anyway, I'm, I'm just waiting for Terry to get back. There I am but um huh? oh, wow look at that huh? isn't that nice that's awesome Oop. and morristown you know I, I they asked me not to tell you they wanted us to keep it a secret because they want to keep their real estate prices low so uh you didn't hear from <laughs> that's us true but, and, and you know what's funny is when we were getting in the car and we were driving to our next city terry said i think i might i might actually see myself buying a house here and living up here in the summers because so it gets a little hot in Florida, and I thought that I said me too, because I would uh, I would definitely consider that. It was an amazing town, highly recommend it. So I guess we have to stop talking about Morristown. Let's but, yes. So then we go to Knoxville, and Knoxville is amazing. I, I love Knoxville. It was really really nice. Um, talk Teleco about Knoxville. Village. Teleco Village was where we started. Teleco Village is a uh, older adult, active adult community uh they they do allow children but there's you know there i think there are schools in the area yeah uh, but uh you got a lot of a lot of water there too a lot of uh reservoirs or what, what do they call them uh, uh tennessee tva 
water yeah. there, Tennessee Valley Authority, where they built all of these dams and then created all these waterways uh, back in the, I think it was Depression era. Yeah. Um, and uh, Haley Van Edom and uh, Amy Lucas took us all around. They were spectacular. Of course, they really Haley's were. one of our, for years, has been one of our uh, top agents in the group, helping uh, a large number of Californians move to uh, Knoxville area. I don't know if I mentioned this. I, I want to back up to Morristown because Lynette was she was she was just on it. What a great host. And and again, I wasn't excited. But by the time I was done, I was a fan and she was an amazing host. And then Haley, I've always Haley and I have been friends for a long time and, and she's amazing. So I was really excited to see Haley. I've just become friends with Amy, but they, both of them. Oh, my gosh. And they had a full pack day. What a, what an amazing day that they had planned for us. So we spent the majority with it with Haley, and then Amy spent some time with us in the afternoon. I mean, it just was. Well, let's not forget. Also, we we Monty Feltz, our our national sponsor, met us there also. So we toured with him too. Yeah, Monty uh, ended up meeting us there, and can't we got to make sure we? I don't want to forget our buddy. So this was the crew. Um, That's at uh, Bonefish there in, in uh, Charleston. So and I said, no, nah, Terry, I'm not really a big, I mean, I like shrimp. I like lobster. I'll eat shri uh, fish once in a while. He goes, no, David, come on. They got no, everything. Won't. Let's go. You won't eat fish every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> so this is Brandon. He was our uh, cinematographer. This guy was running up and down the streets. I mean, the capture, he wanted to capture the perfect shot every single time. And he did it for 14 hours a day. And my hat goes off to this man. He's still got his hat on. But I mean, he was unbelievable. If you are looking to do any kind of uh, video work or whatever, I, this this guy, I can call him a kid because I'm over 60. This kid was unbelievable. Just super professional, did whatever we needed. And then John, uh, he was our, uh, he was kind of our director. He was coordinating tour everything. Yeah, tour coordinator. Day. Yeah. And, and, uh, and full-time pastor. And he's a full-time pastor. So we all would, we'd all hold hands in the morning and we would say our morning prayer and John would bless our day. He would bless every single meal that we had. It, it just, it, you know, and here I am, I'm thinking to myself, okay, uh, and originally Terry had said, you're gonna be staying with Brandon and I'm gonna stay with John because he's my pastor and I have a relationship with him, I already know him. Well, for whatever reason, we ended up switching the, the seating chart and I was like, I don't know these people. I'm gonna be staying with a guy I don't even know. So I ended up staying with Terry and the group, we just all fit together really, really well. It was awesome. Nobody argued, nobody, I mean, we all got along great. And you can imagine after 14 hours, there could be a little tension going on, but there really wasn't any. We all agreed on everything and we got along fantastic. And then as um, Terry mentioned, that's our national sponsor who I just met a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he's got some, this guy, his vision is unbelievable. And he is uh, gonna be one of the reasons why Terry's vision is in, is insane, but Monty's vision is 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 even a little beyond that. I think for our group, and there's going to be some amazing things happening with our leading California groups, and we're super excited. So I just wanted to share a picture of Monty, our national sponsor, and the team. And uh, anything else you want to add about Knoxville? Uh, I'm trying to think what else we did. Of course, as I mentioned, uh, well, the beautiful oh, we downtown. We had lunch downtown. Haley's um, restaurant. We went through yeah, Haley's restaurant. Market Square, I think it's called, and then we got to tour that uh, uh, high-end Hilton property, uh, which which is where all the all the the um, what do they call them? All of the superstars when they come to, to Knoxville, that's where they stay at that that Hilton uh, Carriage House, I think it was called. Oh that yeah, was, that's what it was. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, Carriage House. So if you want to go, maybe they said. Uh, what was not not Peyton Manning? His oh Eli Manning stays there when he comes to town. Uh, stays yeah. in that hotel. So, um, yeah, Knoxville highly recommended. Real estate is reasonable. I mean, their prices yep. are still much much less than California. Cost of living is low. We talked about leaving California. Welcome to America. Where that I think that's where we really started talking and elaborating on that where you're not so restricted you could actually open up a business and you don't have to wait six months before you get approved and you don't have to wait to go to a second hearing and a third hearing i mean it's just it's crazy you they actually allow you to do business and to make money what a concept terry yeah and and let's not forget uh, we talked to two homeowners who were in the groups who had moved there from california 
One gentleman said, I think his house was $500,000 and he pays $800 a year in property taxes. Holy smokes, are you kidding me? And then let's also um, remember no state income tax there either. Right. So remember we also, that's where we met with the Blunt County Schools. We met with the school oh, district there. Right. And Blunt County Schools blew me away. They've got all these, they've got, you can, you can basically, if you, if your child is gifted, you can, they can almost go through the first year of college while they're still in high school because of the advanced classes that they offer. And then they do things like they offer uh, wood shop, welding, um, metal shop, auto repair. They offer all of these skills in high school. And in my head, I was like, well, how do they do that? They, you know, if you're not paying property taxes, and you're not paying state income taxes. It's because they've got these foundations that raise funds for the school districts to help support all of this. I was blown away. I'm telling you, if I was raising my kids, I'd move to Blount County in the Knoxville area and raise my kids because they're going to get a first class education that's going to prepare them for the real world, not the indoctrination that they go through in California, which teaches them that uh, there's 35 different sexes or maybe 135 different sexes <laughs> and you were just born the wrong gender. And if you go to this, uh, go through all this surgery, you'll be the happiest person on earth when we know that's not the case. Uh, wow. Don't get me started. I, I was so impressed with them. I, I really was super impressed. They actually care about the families. They actually listen to the parents. They yes. listen to feedback. They want to know how we can do a better job. It was so great. And and we asked them, we, we said, I remember, you know, we were going to talk a little bit about California politics. They're like, no, we don't want to talk about that. But we just want to talk about what we do. And we want to focus on what we do. We don't care what other people do. And um, maybe that's part of California's problem is they care too much. But the, they care about what people think, but they don't care about the results and what it does to these kids. Oh, my God, don't get me started because the COVID thing, I have a daughter and she was in school during COVID. And to keep the kids out of school, they, they pretty much lived their lives. I think she said they were only out for two weeks and they went back and life was normal. And oh, the That's kids right, in Blount County in Blount yep, County. Yeah. Yep. Um, so Knoxville checkmark really good. Great place. The hosts were amazing. Food was amazing. Scenery was amazing. Everything great. So now, uh, this was the only mistake. Oh I wait, wait. Let's not also not forget. We had the we had the uh, reception at the Van Edem Wine Bar. Oh, I know that. Just, uh, I mean, that's Haley's. Haley and her husband Bart have this wine bar that they built, and uh, just a beautiful place. Beautiful place. Haley's. Uh, you could just see her touch she has yes. that magic touch and she has it all throughout the restaurant she said oh no i did all this myself so attention to details when you talk about interior designing yeah and we know we already know from all the testimonials that we've gotten about her that attention to detail is very very important for her and you can't go wrong with haley and obviously amy she'll she'll go she'll work 24 hours a day if she has to to get you happy so then so the only mistake that terry makes and i think he did this on purpose but he actually made a wrong turn the only one out of 2600 miles and the next thing you know he's like uh we're in nashville and i'm like nashville this is awesome so we're driving down nashville and we're looking i think it was a monday night and it was it was broadway insane broadway I was so tired, but I was tempted to go. Terry, come on, let's let's go look at a place. But we all we all agree. Look, I love I love Broadway, and I was tempted. It's that that street just hops. I've been to Broadway dozens of times in Nashville. I love that street. All the every bar has live music. There's no cover charges to get into any of them. Uh, all the, they, and those musicians all live on tips, so you just tip well, and uh, and they play. They're they're just amazing. They're world class music. World class musicians there. On Broadway, well, we could blame it on the farm, but I can't blame it on the farm because I love the farm and the food at the farm was unbelievable. And it just happened to be the owner of the farm's wife's like 75th birthday or something. Wait, you're, go, you're going back to, to Morristown? That's Morristown. Oh wait, no, what place were we at? That was Morristown. Oh yeah, farm. see all these memories. <laughs> see what happens when you get old? No, That's I don't because I remember. Well, then you tell me why we're, oh, because we went to Haley's restaurant and we uh, got to eat dinner there, which was amazing, by the way. And that's why we ended up, because if it was, my point was, if it was earlier, we would have parked the car and we would have went down in Nashville. It was like 1030 or 11 o'clock at night. It was late. 
it was, it late. was and we had, late. It was a it was a three and a half hour drive from Knoxville, so we were, it was time to uh, hit the hay because we had Franklin the next morning. We stayed in Franklin at the uh, worst Western. I'm sorry, best Western <laughs> hotel. It was not the best Western. I'm sorry if they're listening, uh, but we stayed at the hotel and uh, and and uh, you know next morning ten o'clock we met Ethan Lanigan, who gave us a great tour of Franklin, Tennessee. Again, boy. Uh, a beautiful downtown. How about that downtown? Absolutely beautiful historic downtown. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, is that you're not going to find a house for under half a million. You're not going to find a house for under seven hundred thousand in Williamson County. But if you're looking for, we have a, we have buyers from our group who've moved to Franklin. Um, they just lived on the coast and look, look overlook the ocean. <laughs> they could afford to buy really nice houses in Franklin. So Franklin's a beautiful town. And we did see new, lots of new construction in the Franklin area. Uh, and then we had a nice reception at a winery uh, for some of our former Californians. And uh, that's right, you missed that. You weren't there. You were off to, you and Monty were off to the airport. Oh, that's right. But Franklin was beautiful, but Franklin is on the higher end. I do agree, but what a great community. And the downtown was just phenomenal. Um, and Ethan, He's just such a great host. I got to ride around in the car with him all day long and we got to chat and talk about real estate. Uh, it just was a really memorable, enjoyable day. Uh, and you got to realize guys that we're on day 10. <laughs> so we're on day 10. So our brains might be a little bit uh, not functioning at high capacity, but I mean, it, I remember it. It was a great day and I really like Ethan. He's become a friend of mine and we talk often. He was a great host. And so then uh, me and Mo Monty and I we actually left and uh, we got to go to the airport and I had a closing the next day and I promised my clients that I would be back. I really wanted to finish up the tour uh, and I'm going to let um, Terry talk about that, but I had to get back. Uh, my client is legally, uh, she's vision impaired, so she can't see. And I just promised her that I would be there. So I went back for that closing in Las Vegas and then, um, and of course, I'm not sure if it's a fact, but I think it actually is a fact. Terry calls me up and he says, David, Cookville was the best spot out of the whole trip. It, it was unbelievable. I can't really give you a lot of memories about Cookville because I wasn't there. So Terry, take it away on Cookville. Well, I think Cookville it would be very appealing to a lot of people. Um, you know, Chana Morris, our realtor there, unbelievable. She's also helped a lot of Californians from our group move to the Cookville area. And Cookville also another big area, but the, what Chana did, she took us into a waterfall that's only accessible accessible via boat. And she has a boat, so she took us out to that waterfall. That thing was easily 100 feet high. Uh, beautiful water coming down. Uh, and they've got over 100 waterfalls in the Cookville area, which, I, I mean, you don't think of Tennessee and waterfalls, but they've got them. And she knows that entire area like the back of her hand. Again, another large lake created by dams and uh you can go in fact river boats used to go from the gulf up to cookville all the way that's that's hundreds of miles so yeah. that tells you how navigable those waters are if you can go all the way from the gulf of mexico up to and including cookville uh back during the riverboat days so um but uh, I'm telling you, that downtown, so t take take kind of a blend of Morristown, which was a, you know, hasn't been discovered yet to some degree. Uh, Knoxville, which has been discovered, Franklin's been discovered, but Cookville to me, in fact, we ran into a Californian there who owns a shop. He builds, he creates all of his own artwork. He was a funny guy. He was a funny guy, Monk, Monkey Works. I think it was called with an a U M U N K E Y works or monkey uh -huh. business, monkey works. I think it was monkey works. Yeah. Uh, really a unique individual, but Cookville, again, a beautiful downtown. We had a great lunch at a place called Crawdaddy's, which is Cajun food. The, it was as good as anything I've gotten in new Orleans. Um, mostly I won't say a hundred percent, but it was a uh, Crawdaddy's was great and a really nice downtown to walk around. And uh, they've got like a world renowned donut shop there that people come from all over the world to eat that donuts. That starts with an R, I think. Uh, I didn't eat one because I need a donut like a hole in the head. Um, so yeah, uh, Chana did a great job with her team and uh, she has, a, she has a, a nice size team. And then that's where she introduced us to that California family that had moved to Cookville 
and saw a need to open up a business, opened a business. They said it was a piece of cake compared to trying to open a business in California. Uh, you know, they went through, yeah, obviously you go through the, the, the process of getting permits and everything else, but, but there, we went to their soft opening. Uh, it's an ax throwing place. We throw, <laughs> and it was already becoming very popular. So what uh, happened with several, several people there who had moved from California also. How did the real estate prices compare in Cookville to Morristown? Uh, they were more expensive, but not a whole lot more expensive. Okay. But definitely, definitely a, a higher. Uh, again, I think Morristown just hasn't been discovered yet. Once Morristown's been discovered, I think you'll start seeing pressure. But also, the nice thing about Cookville is you are close enough. You're right. You're basically right in the middle between Nashville and and Knoxville. So you've got that um, the ability to live. Uh, you know, close to two really nice sized cities. And of course, the Nashville airport is on that side of Nashville towards Cookville. So if, in fact, we drove the next morning, it was an hour. It was one hour from our hotel uh, to the airport when I dropped off Brandon and who else? Oh, John, and John, John and I, John and I were, were flying out that morning too. So, um, you know, I, I tried to get this done in 30 minutes. It was impossible. And we could probably yeah. go on. We could have made this three hours long, but we know that nobody's going to watch for three hours. And we're going to probably do snippets of this video so that we can share. But, um, you know, the one thing that I want to kind of close up with this, this was actually my idea. And I think I said it kind of as a joke about a year and a half ago, two years ago. I said, Terry, you know, it'd be really cool if we could go around to these cities and actually be there. And then we could go and we could let people know from our own eyes what these different towns were. So it was my idea and I would bring it up every once in a while, but about two months ago, I brought it up again and we started talking about it and we were a lot more serious. And then we started even talking about getting sponsors to help us do this because it's not, it's pretty expensive. It's, it's not a, a cheap thing to do, but we felt that it was definitely worth it to spend the money and to get this information. So Terry, I gotta ask you when we close this thing out, and um, how did you think that the whole thing went? And was it close to what your vision was? And is this just the start of a bunch more to come? Or what are your thoughts uh, on the well, whole? Well, the first thing is, is that uh, the good Lord blessed us with great weather. If we'd gone last week, we would have had some challenges in Tennessee with a lot of rain, a lot of wind. So the good Lord blessed us with, uh, with great weather. Uh, yes, it does rain uh, any time of the day or year in other parts of the country, especially east of the Rockies. For those who live in California, I think it doesn't rain for seven months of the year. Yeah, and so we we, we had great weather and what an amazing group of realtors we have. Now, and again, David, you say it all the time. These aren't realtors who are saying, okay, let's go buy a house. These are realtors like, if this is a great fit for you, we'll, we'll make this work. But we wanna make sure this is the right place for you to move away from California. Most of them, have uh, lived in California before, so they understand what people are going through, what they're leaving. Um, but uh, but just like people like uh, Ethan Lanigan in Franklin, Corinne Kane in, in Charleston, these are people who looked all over and they, they're living in places and very passionate about places they live because they looked at a lot of different places before they picked these. So one size doesn't fit all, obviously. That's why we're, we're, we toured uh, 10 cities in 11 days. I think our next tour will be in Texas is our plan uh, maybe for the fall i don't want to go to texas in the summertime because i don't want to melt because it's no secret you're going to melt that you know i grew up in florida moved to texas in 1985 and it was hotter than florida which i couldn't believe i thought florida was as hot as it got but it's not um so we're going to go in the fall um of course people the one the number one complaint is or request of people is hey i just i want to leave california but i want the same weather well you're not going to get the same weather it's not that way but you know what you're going to get you're going to get a lot of freedom you're going to get a lot of uh, places where the government says we want you protected we want their their criminals are prosecuted and jailed what a concept can you believe that I, you you actually punish criminals i know that's a foreign concept to people who live in california uh, and the schools teach education reading writing and arithmetic is a priority it's not indoctrination uh, if you're retired cost of living is significantly lower in most other places in the country significantly uh, unless you're retiring to New York City, which most people aren't going to do that. So anyway, I, I think we should keep this going and not just to sh introduce these cities, but also to introduce these great realtors that we're working with because, and they can be found by the way, we keep the list under the files tab in the homepage of the groups where you can find the list of realtors that we work with. It's, it's right around 350 agents across the country.
Well, the interesting thing is that Terry and I met about three years ago. And when I first met him, I just thought that this was an amazing concept. And then we became friends and then we became kind of partners. And then um, the next thing you know, I said, you know, I want to I want to help and I want to I want to help more people. And I became the National Relocation Director. And this is Terry's baby. I mean, he he is super passionate about this. So the fact that he allows me to get on here and you know, sometimes I share my screen and he gets nervous, but he still allows me to share my screen and he allows me to have some flexibility, but he is very, very possessive of this as he should be. This is his group. This is his creation. And the fact that he's allowed me to, to be a big part of this is super cool. And I, I want to say to you personally, thank you so much for trusting me and for putting the faith in me that I can help help more people leave California. So that this is really special. And it's a work in progress, guys. We're not, we're nowhere near done. We're just getting started. This is like the tip of the iceberg. And Terry every week talks about how I was gonna get a couple hundred people. You know, our goal is to get a million people if that's what, what, the, what the good Lord wants us to do, help a million people and give people resources on how to leave California. And we are just getting started. So you guys are gonna see some big changes you're going to be super impressed with the video production that we we provide and the way that we provide it. And these future tours are going to be excited and we can't meet wait. So if you're watching this and you live in a city that we're coming to visit and we're having a reception for all the leaving California members, please, we're, we really would love to meet you personally. We want to hear your stories. We know that that helps other members from our leaving California groups. And Terry, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for taking me with you on the trip. And thank you for trusting me to be able to help people relocate and get out of California. So I really appreciate it. It's been a great journey so far, and I'm super excited about the future. Well, David, again, thank you for uh, for suggesting this tour. It was a great idea and a, and a great thing to do. Uh, and I, I appreciate all your help with everything. Uh, and most of all, I'm very thankful that you don't snore. All right, guys, have a great week, and we will talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you all.